Welcome. We are moving to our third task, which is basically converting our server that we have created in task one to a domain controller. Now you must be wondering, why do we need to learn about this? Isn't this a systems administrator skill and why do we have to do that? And if in our lab, a DCA is already a Active Directory um, already set up in there. So why would I have to create it as an IT support professional? Do I really need to do this? Now, you are exactly correct in terms of skill or in terms of your job. You really don't need to learn how to install a full Active Directory from scratch. But the problem is this, when you go to uh, job descriptions and some of the companies when they want to hire someone and they do look for more technical people even if they say it's an entry-level position even if it's an IT support position they will say qualification preferred not required but if you have it that means that whoever is going to hire you is going to be really happy oh this person already know about Active Directory and servers so in your first task you did start it with that concept that if you install something from scratch and even you don't have to work in it like you don't have to maintain that specific skill you are going to be very confident troubleshooting anything that is attached to that so what does this mean so basically when you create active directory from scratch and while you as an IT support professional work heavily on active directory then where is active directory coming from so you really need to understand that and if you do this practically all by yourself creating a server converting it to a domain controller and enabling Active Directory on it, it gives you a full picture even as an IT support professional. Because if your work is 90% going into Active Directory, resetting password, adding a user, troubleshooting a user, access relating issue. So if you already know how things have been set up, this means that what will happen to you? Number one, your confidence will grow. Second, you can perform better interviews. Third, uh, basically when you have issues related to access account or anything like that, you will have a very good command on troubleshooting that. Third, you are not going to be scared learning more about servers. This means that you're always looking to enhance your skills and move out of help desk at some point. So this is where we do make you do this task so you don't get stuck. So this is the reason in this project, uh, task you have to convert your server that you have created in the task one you have to convert it to the active directory we will not use that because you already have an active directory already running here so you will use this but for this you just want to learn that so go ahead and open your lab in your unit you always uh, will see project lab tab available to make it easy for you so if you don't know what i'm talking about uh, you can basically click on the link that's provided to you here project lab you click on it and you click on the project link and then that will open your lab environment so I'm going to click on it you see it's opening up so now where are we doing this we are still going to use our Hyper-V because we want to learn that from scratch so we are going to go ahead and right click and go to desktop all right so let's go ahead and maximize our window send all control delete inside the using the button not your keyboard and let's log in with the help desk admin whatever you have ABC account so I'm gonna go ahead and log in right now and as you can see uh, we got uh, everything turned off which is a good thing um, all of these machines should be turned off for us to do that if your machines are still running for updates that you did previous tasks you may you may want to make sure the updates are done and just shut down your machine because we will need to use our memory now for demo server so demo server is right here that you have created. So let's go ahead and start this machine. Now let me tell you again that we are going to convert Active Directory. We're going to actually add Active Directory, but we will not use it. As soon as, as soon as we finish with Active Directory and some other tasks, we are going to delete this server and we'll move on to our current machines that are already running in your lab. And we're going to get back to tickets then. Tickets are more real world. Um, scenarios where you join a company and everything is running right so that's the reason why you're doing this just to understand things but everything is running for you already so you don't need this server later on so let's go ahead and open the virtual machine by connecting
and we're going to open it fully maximizing it so let's do the all control delete for the server on the left bottom um, okay don't know why this is probably the screen is stuck in there so let's actually oh that's because it's running a all control delete on the um on the main server right here so that's a good good thing we came across this so remember when you're doing uh like when you maximize this it may not run the all control delete on the virtual machine so how do you do this all control delete on a virtual machine you max you minimize it go back to the actions here and do all control delete inside the vm so then maximize it and let's log in now with using our password so i hope you have already used the password that we have given you in your own virtual environment if you don't know if this is not working and you are unable to log in this means that when you created this server you probably put a different password and if you don't remember it, you have to redo everything from scratch or if you feel like you want to use a different server you can minimize this and run this machine which is basically almost like where you have installed the the, the demo server from scratch this is doing the same thing so you may want to just run this and delete this demo server both are the same at this point right now so I'm gonna go ahead and connect back to demo server and enable it so the first thing we need to make sure in this server for creating an active directory for your own personal skills development how can we do this the first thing is to make sure the server name is changed to demo server so we're gonna go back to systems in that server so here you see we have this long name so let's go ahead and first change that in this lab environment so let's go ahead and call it um, demo DC okay demo DC and let's go ahead and restart this machine now you must be thinking like, is this how it's done in real world environment when somebody created an active directory absolutely no when you create an active directory it requires a lot of planning is a lot it requires a lot of uh, good practices from a sysadmin world that's systems administrator skills right there when they do research they will you know bring uh the the best practices for active directory because that's kind of like your core services to give uh access to all of your users and everything so it's not like you go into a virtual lab like this and then you will just not even take care of our ip addresses static ip addresses dns and all that sort of stuff uh that needs to be done so at this point you really don't need to worry about that skill that's not this, the part of this project it's not about this role it's totally unrelated so for now you can just learn how active directory is created in a quick way so at least you understand where the active directory is coming from so let's go ahead and reconnect to that uh, server again because we just changed the name and uh, maximize the window so it's asking me for control or delete again so in this vm because it's a server i cannot just click in it so i'm gonna go to uh, maximize minimize a little bit and then go to action or control delete and then go back to maximize it and now we're gonna put the password and we have the server with a new name now so to convert the server into active Tree, what we are going to do we're going to basically click on start and then we will click on server manager so let's go ahead and click on start server manager you can close this and maximize the server manager so to get active directory on this server we need to click on manage add roles and features and we will click next here then we will click next again and you see it's demo DC with a private IP address and that's where I explained that you don't need to worry about all of this stuff that's systems administrator skills so we'll go ahead and click next and then here we are going to pick active directory domain services to get active directory on this server we're going to click add features and click next once you click next then it will automatically pick some other information for us and we'll click, click continue to uh, click next here and we'll click install what this will do it will also add a dns in this server and then basically this server will restart and now from now on this server will become an active directory on its own basically this is an active directory so we can literally create new machines in your lab and connect to it but of course you're not going to do this this is something you will do and we will delete this server uh, as soon as we are done with this installation
All right, so this is a section where you need to promote the server to Active Directory. You will click on this blue link, promote this Active Directory to Domain Controller. We're going to go ahead and click on it. And this is where it's going to ask you to create a new domain, new forest. So we're going to click on new forest. And what you can do, you can say demo DC dot jobskillshare dot org, just like that, or dot local. You can put your name in there, whatever you want to put. Um, we're going to delete this anyway. So we're going to go ahead and click next here and put a password here, whichever password you like to give. I'm just going to put the lab password. Click next here. It's going to give you a net BIOS name, which is fine. You're going to click next here again. And we're going to click next and next again. And finally, it's going to go some warnings and we're going to install this. So now give it some time for it to finish. It will automatically restart. And now we have, we will have an active directory running in this hyper V environment, your personal active directory that you can play around. So as you can see, our active directory machine is getting started again. And uh, you can just leave the machine open like this as well. It just will reconnect again once it starts restarting. So let's go. We won't have to maximize because we have to do all control delete inside this VM. So let's just wait for it. All right. So let's do all control delete and let's see if our machine is a domain controller at this point. So when you see this information where you have other users and when you click on other user, you see on the bottom, that means you have a domain controller active directory running on the server. So I can go back now to the administrator account and the password that you have um, created early on. That's the same administrator account that will become a domain admin. So when we log in, this is going to have active directory, DNS, all that information will be available in the server. So now when you see your server manager automatically starts on the left side, you're going to see some domain features as well. Let this run for a few seconds and then wait for all this information to pop up. So here on the left side, you see you have ADDS, DNS and some other stuff. If you want to open your Active Directory in this server, click on tools and then click on Active Directory users and computers. This, this is what we have done. We have successfully created a domain and then it has all the users, computers available for us to utilize. But we are only going to go to task four, which is create help this admin account and user accounts. When you finish task four, we will let you know that you need to delete this specific server and anything that you have done in the server will go away because the whole purpose is to just make sure that you are warmed up, you know what is Active Directory, how it was created, because when you see our labs like this, it already have Active Directory, already users are there, and then we have App Server, which is connected to this DCA, then this means in your mind, everything is clear. So what should you do with this specific machine, which is Active Directory? You're free to go on internet and learn about Active Directory on your own. I'm sure you probably have, um, you know, taken our fundamental courses and you know how to add a user here. Go ahead and play around with it for a few hours. You know, you can keep this machine, you can shut it down. You don't have to delete it if you don't want to, but you're free to do anything you want to do. We're not going to check anything in this machine or, or ask for you to do anything with this machine. Yeah, after task four, we will ask you to delete this machine. So you have a, a, a good resources available. But for now, you can go ahead and do things. One thing you don't want to do is do not add any machines to this domain controller. You will delete it and then you won't be able to get those machines back. So do not add machines to this specific demo uh, active directory that you have created. For example, let's go back here. This one will be deleted. So do not add this machine. Do not add this machine. Do not add this machine. Maybe this one, if you start it and play around with it yourself, but come back to the fresh install again, if you want to just right click apply. So you have one machine that you can play around here and you have active directory. After some time, after tax four, we will delete this machine and that's gone. And you will have to bring this machine back if you want to play around with it. So for now, go ahead and 
open your demo Active Directory, add a user, play around with DNS, group policy, whichever you can do, whatever you can do online, go to some YouTube videos, see what you can learn from Active Directory all by yourself, you have it. So what have we learned so far? Number one, of course, after doing this practically, you are able to look at something like this in the job description where Microsoft Server and Active Directory and you're like, oh, okay, I know this. So that's number one. It's very, uh, you know, uh, nice when you see something like this and you can check mark that. Second is if you're going to go for interview, then you should go with the interview prep question. This is just an example for you. Of course, you do want to go and uh, look for more questions, more answers. And again, the tip is to make sure your answers are very clear and fluent when you're talking about it. And most of the time, people will ask you what is Active Directory and why it's important for IT support roles. And you can give the answer uh, by just going to this answer or maybe making your own good answer. Uh, can you describe the steps involving in turning a Windows 2022 server or any server, by the way? This is the same process for 2019, 16, 12. So you can really talk about that because you have done this. And you see, we have added uh, a little bit of like my project in there, in my project. It's very important when you say that. Don't just give them give them a very generic answer. You may, you may want to expand this a little bit. But when you do this project, it's actually a hands-on skills. And it's way better than you saying that I have done this in my own home lab. It's more versus home lab versus a professional lab right now. So it does give you more value because people will see your certificate. People will see um, they will they will. It's more of like, you know, breaking the ice. And when they start getting into this stuff, I, as I mentioned before, that when I hear that, you know, about Active Directory, you know, about server, you can talk about domain controllers and things like that. It's just a good thing for me because when I hire you, I don't have to really uh, be worried about that. This person don't know anything. I know this person have passed A plus, but maybe they this person don't know anything about the, how real business works. So, of course, we have to then teach you and then my worry will go away. And that is exactly how the technical interview will go. When you when you talk about all these things, that's where this is going to be really cool because it says preferred, right? So a lot of people say, yeah, it's okay, just go and you will learn all by yourself. But, you know, you yeah, you can do that. That's just the old school way. You can definitely do that. But uh, isn't it better when you go and you already know stuff, you're more confident, you're less stressful, and it, it gives you better chances uh, to even go for a bigger job, meaning like when, when the jobs are either uh, entry level or you can even go beyond that. We have done that in our platform for past 10 years. So why are you waiting? You need to actually do this hands-on. So that's how you're going to encounter so make sure you go over all of this material right here and then uh, practice um, as much as you can